This video is about six minutes long. We're in a Beechcraft 77 Skipper. It's a two-seater airplane and we're looking at the instrument panel. The altimeter is the top row middle gauge and says the airport is at 140 feet above sea level. It's my first time flying in a pilot seat, courtesy of my wife's birthday gift to me. Thank you, dear. We're at the end of the runway at Wiesner or Weisner Air Park, northwest of Houston near Cyprus. The cockpit has two yokes, some call them sticks, control columns, or steering wheels. There's one for me, the co-pilot, and one for the pilot. Beechcraft is about 24 feet long, has a 30-foot wingspan, has a single 115 horsepower engine. The airspeed indicator is the leftmost gauge on the top row. We're currently taking off down the runway at full power. I think the flaps are down. At least I hope they are down. The plane's max safe speed is about 105 knots. We need to hit about 60 knots before we can pull back on the stick to take off. And there's my family waving adios and holding my last will and testament. Tyler, he's the pilot. He must be in his 20s. He says, where do you want to go? I said, how about downtown Houston? And 20 miles later, here we are. Although there's a GPS in the plane, a map display, much like Google Maps or MapQuest, we basically follow the freeways. We can easily see out the cockpit windows. We're flying at about 2,000 feet cloud cover is about 2,200 feet. Uh, this plane is capable of flying at about 12,000 feet. It's fairly easy to pick out landmarks like the Astros Rocket Stadium, Buffalo Bayou, my alma mater, the U of H, and where I got my last speeding ticket. It's hard to hear in the cockpit, so the pilot and I were wearing headphones with the mic which is voice activated, which means we don't have to push a button to talk. I asked the pilot, what kind of aerobatics can this plane do? And he asked me if I wanted to try some. I said, sure. And he said, let's go west of the city, past the residential area out by the cow pastures, just in case. In case of what? Anyway, he puts the plane into a power off stall, which means we throttle down and our airspeed drops below 47 knots, which is the stall speed. The buzzer you hear is the stall warning, but we're falling backwards out of the sky. And my stomach is now in my throat as we throttle up, gain speed, and come out of the stall. Then he does a power on stall, which means full power, but he pulls back too far on the stick, which means the plane is aiming too high and we stall again. Stomach is back into the throat. Now we try some steep banking, which means we roll the plane about 90 degrees to the left, and then we roll 180 degrees back, so now we're about 90 degrees to the right. Now I don't know where my stomach is. Just watching the horizon rotating back and forth is making me dizzy, but boy, I sure love it. Tyler is now explaining that the plane has a great glide ratio, which means it can land without power, and he's pointing out several areas where we can do just this. I'm looking to the left to see if I can see the airport.
This plane has about a 400 mile range. Sport planes today have up to well, maybe a 600 mile range. Crews at about 150 miles per hour and they can sell as low as $30,000 although most of those are kits. But it still sounds pretty enticing to me. We are heading back and Tyler is pointing to the airport but I can't see it. And this airport has no control tower so we radio other planes in the area to let them know where we are and what we're doing. We go into a left banking turn and I still can't see it. Now he's just above the treetops and finally I see the runway. Flaps are down, I think. Landing gear, we don't need to worry about it. It's fixed. Airspeed is about 60 knots. And we're slowing down to about 40 knots just before we hit the runway. Well, thanks for coming along for the ride. Is that my family still waiting for me?